Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. This Welcome week on The, the Choice, show. Yeah, we're it's... going to Quebec. Yes, we're going to go cruising for caribou. It's a part one of a part two-part series. Okay. Right. Are you Good. okay with that? I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Yep. All righty. In this first show, we're going to show a little bit of what to expect when you're traveling, because no matter where you travel to, Things can happen. Things can happen. Luggage can get What's lost. What's that saying? Hmm, F happens, right? Because rain. Yeah, rain happens. Whatever. Oh, okay. The big thing here is, you know, Freddie and Art. They got up there and everything was going great, and here comes the luggage, and well, no bows. And no muzzle. No loader. muzzle loader. Mm -hmm. Panic starts. And if you've ever traveled, you know what these guys are feeling. And to share it with them is pretty cool. At <laughs> because least they had their clothes. It didn't happen to us. Yeah, at least they had their clothes. Oh yeah. You know, they, and they, could could go up there. they could go up there and just videotape some animals. Yeah, that's, that's what we all want to do. Just go up to a great place to go hunting and not hunt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if everybody out there in TV land can count. There's two bags there. There should be four checked bags. Um, Art and I just landed here in Montreal a little bit ago. I got done going through customs and immigration. They pulled me aside, did some checking to make sure I was who I am and make sure that I was here for the for the province. Uh, and I got down here and Art had our baggage all but our bow cases. Not a good deal. The Hoyt Tricon XLs are out in airline limbo somewhere, floating around and our Traditions Pursuit is doing the same thing. So Art actually already took care of it here at the Northwest Airlines desk. They said they've located our bags in Detroit and that they will be here on the midnight flight. So let's keep our fingers crossed and uh, We'll have to say a little prayer tonight when we get to the hotel that the good Lord to make sure the bows and stuff get here uh, in one piece tomorrow because uh, basically if there's no bows, there's going to end up being no bulls. So we'll be back in the morning to get our gear and head up to Safari Nordique. We're getting ready to rock, so we're going to go get our equipment on the plane, head to Kujuak, Kujuak, jump on a couple of small planes, and head to camp. So, here's what we're careful, baby. And it's duly noted, there is one of the most important things that was lost yesterday. And there is Are you guys scoped with the, the other yeah. important thing that was lost yesterday. Northwest uh, yeah. Airlines came through us and found our baggage, huh? Yes, they did. Good deal. It was a little late, but hey, it's here. That's all that matters. Chillier Come here, on, tell boys. Me about it. Dang. What do you think about the beaches and sand? Oh. Let's join Kujuak Game Warden Valley Saunders as he takes us and describes to us what's going on in Quebec because the herd is getting bigger. Um, there's two main groups that we have in northern Quebec, which we call the George River herd, also the Leaf River herd. The George River herd is usually migrating in the Labrador and Quebec area where the Leaf River tra travels mostly north uh, to the northern tip of our province, which is Quebec. The estimation on the caribou herd, on the George River herd, is approximately close to 400,000, where the Leaf River herd is estimated to be in the 600,000 range. The winter migration is getting vast uh, in distance every year where they travel down to the James Bay area or as far as down the James Bay area. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, let's go up with Tourism Quebec's Gregory Cloutier as he goes caribou hunting. Cloutier, Cloutier. No, Cloutier. Cloutier, that's Gregory, like Italian. I'm sorry. If you say it Italian, or you could say it Canadian. Cloutier, hey, Cloutier, hey. It's a really nice day. I mean, we had some uh, rain 30 minutes ago, uh, snow 15 minutes ago, but right now we, it's okay. But uh, you know, it's a part of the experience. It's the, the tundra, the far north. So we'll go to, to see if we can spot any caribou.
don't forget to look for your Team Realtree sticker. And we're not talking this one. So I shot, I would say medium caribou, a decent one. My guide told me to stay down because the other caribou will arrive in a few seconds or maybe a few minutes. It's a really decent one. I mean, two nice shovel, a nice top also, not a huge one, but a nice one. I'm very happy, it's the first one of the year. So I'm very excited about that. You still have a little bit of velvet, and uh, it's perfect. Wow. You know, many times as caribou hunting goes, is it's feast or fathom, either they're here or they're not. Gregory seizes that opportunity and takes a second bull in just a short matter of time. So right now, three bulls coming just in front of me, and one's supposed to be a huge one. So we will see. Okay? You okay? Yep. Yep. No, 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 I missed. Keep going there. Okay, keep going. No shot. You think, it, yes, it's a, it's a good one? Very yeah? good one. Oh, yes, it's a very good one. I, I, I wasn't sure because when I saw him the first time, I said, mm, maybe uh, I should wait a little bit. But after that, I saw him there and I saw his shovel. I think he has a nice shovel. Eh? Big shovel. Yeah. And a small shovel, double shovel. Yeah, double shovel. Eh? The good base, the big base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the very good top. Yeah. The, the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe two back point. I don't know, just one short. Okay. It's the good uh, master bean. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, so I'm very happy. A little bit nervous right now. I would... So this is a really nice representative caribou. In fact, it's a caribou from the Leaf River herd. So um, I'm very happy, by the way, eh, because uh, look that rack. It's a very nice rack. And, and you see that this caribou just losing his velvet and eh? so that's why we see some blood on the rack eh? right uh, one week one weeks yeah. one weeks ago so uh, wow so thank you again eh? thank you again <laughs> I'm so happy like we said when the getting gets getting you better get <laughs> here uh, Kurt Santoro from Safari Nordique and Dan seize the opportunity and they put down some good bulls fast
stop. <laughs> freezing to death out here. <laughs> Can oh. you believe that? We came up here and it is just hurricanes. It's been raining all the time. But this is an adventure right here. Mayo, you put us on it, brother. You put us on them. This is fun. This is worth every minute of it right here. Oh, gosh. Mayo. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's nice fun, man. Shot. That is fun. That awesome. Well, we put our gear to a test this week. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Guys. Nice, nice bull. For a Kentucky boy. Nice. Kills a lot of white tails. That's a lot of horn right there, boys. Look at the palmation. Oh my gosh. I mean, it, out of so many caribou dads, Is he a non typical or what is he? Well, there's no non typical, but he just got uh, definitely some deformation. I got a back scratcher back here. It's better than most people's G2 on a white tail. <laughs> there's so many caribou. It's, it's uncommon. You don't see this that often. That Incredible. palmation? Incredible. It's almost like a moose. Maybe it's a Quebec crossbreed. It could be. Get up here to Quebec, guys. Get you some of this action right here. Wow, look at the colors on these guys. Absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. Wow, look at the colors. Incredible. This first animal I've shot with a black powder rifle, this tradition's here. You guys brought him up with you. This guy come in probably 110 yards or so and it's impressive what these black powder rifles can actually even do. Appreciate you guys coming up. Safari Nordic. Enjoy the choice. Tourism Quebec. And of course the weather. Definitely the weather. Wouldn't have it any other way. Welcome back to the choice. Now let's get back with Kentucky Dan as he goes for a second caribou. First we spotted about 100 head of caribou coming this way. Yeah, they're topping the topping the hill up here, Kurt. Yes! He's down. He's down. Yes! That's Woo! us. Right here, Dan. <laughs> yes! Bam, baby! Usually they have real nice weather, but the hurricanes caused all this nasty stuff to come in. Five days. We put the equipment to the test. The traditions had no problems with her. She power slammed this nice bull. You know, I was looking for a nice wide bull like this. The one I shot yesterday is, is beautiful also. 
Welcome back to The Choice. Now, let's be totally serious, and this next hunt is with Freddy. When he goes up there for his first caribou, and he is so caught up in, in the moment, and Freddy normally isn't like that. He's a very, just very calm, collective type of human being that doesn't show emotion. Our guide, Bale, has brought us out here to this flat overlooking a gigantic valley. We've probably got a visibility here of a couple, three miles, if not more. We're gonna glass a little bit and see if we can't get these caribou coming off these ridges as they're migrating. Let's get up here to this rock art. The bull that's out of velvet. Okay, come on. There's another bull behind him, I can't. <laughs> claim that's rain on that lens, I think it's Freddy's tears. I don't care what they say. Well, as you guys saw, the tradition smoked him, baby. My first caribou's right there. My guide Mayo's here with me. Let's go get to him. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's done, Art. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, Mayo, thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. We have been working hard, man. We have, uh, we have been walking and walking and glassing these ridges and these valleys. And you know, it's not, uh, it's not the way a lot of TV shows portray it out there, folks. You know, there's, there's a lot of work to go into these animals. Yes, the herd is almost a million in population, 800,000 approximately, but, uh, we have had to work hard. I got to film my, my brother Art the other day, kill his first caribou with the bull, and or with his bow, his first bull caribou with the bow. I gotta say thanks to Quebec Tourism, Gregory Cloutier for setting this all up. Our good friends up here at Safari Nordique, uh, Ralph, Vicky, Archer's Choice Media, and of course that big man upstairs because without him, none of this would be possible. Oh, oh, it's okay, Fred. Why don't you, so why, don't you, why don't you run around the tundra another like 10 minutes? No. Freddie, congratulations. That, that is was so cool. Awesome. I mean, that's true emotion. You can't, And that's you can't. what this is about. Hunting and being in the outdoors, you're supposed to have that fun. You're supposed to have the adrenaline, the highs and the lows. And to show that. And they claim that the water on the lens was the rain. I don't think I, so. I'm not sure no, about that. No. that. That we're going to have to check out a little closer. I thought he sneezed beforehand. <laughs> well, we hope that you enjoyed this week's show. And don't forget, part two is next week. And you gotta come back and see that again. And we want to thank Quebec Tourism, of course, for helping us put this all together. Yes. And one more thing is if you spotted the Real Tree logo, remember, go to huntingnet.com slash the choice. Let us know your name, some other information where you saw the logo. We'll see what happens with it. You never know. So we hope you enjoyed Cruising for Caribou. Part one. Part one. And part two coming up next week. Yes. So once again, thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.